Hi, this is Jesse um, again, and I'm coming to you guys with a video solely on Shea Mo Mo Moisture's Coconut and Hibiscus line. Now, I pretty much have everything in the entire Coconut and Hibiscus line, um, so I'm, I'm coming to you with a video about this entire line. So I'm going to start off with the Coconut Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo. Now this was one of the very first products that I actually bought from Shea Moisture and it works very very well. Um, it leaves your hair really clean and soft and it, it, it lathers which you know usually um, you don't want a shampoo that lathers because that usually means it has a sulfate in it but Shea Moisture gives you an entire list of what they don't have in their um, products which would be like no sulfates which is really really good um, so I got the shampoo and then I also got the conditioner which you can see is already right down to here is almost gone so I got a new one um, because they're having a, a BOGO sale. Buy one, get one. I think it was 50% off. And so I restocked and got more uh, conditioner. Don't, don't you think it's kind of weird how you run out of conditioner before your shampoo? <laughs> well, so that's that. And then the other thing I got was the Coconut Hibiscus, Hibiscus Co-Wash Conditioning Cleanser. Now, Co-Wash technically is kind of like a conditioner that you use instead of using a shampoo and a conditioner. So you just use this. Um, now I tend to actually use this when I first get in the shower. I use it to just pretty much kind of prime primer my hair, kind of get it, you know, started or whatever. And then I shampoo and condition. I know that's not what this product is meant for because it's meant to be just used as a co-wash, but you know, I'd, I just I found that it works better for me that way. Um, the next product that I'm going to show you is the Hold and Shine Moisture Mist. Now, when I was starting this whole Shea Moisture journey, well, pretty much my my hair journey, because um, I wanted to find something that worked for my hair, um, when I went to start this journey, I went to Walmart. And this was the first thing I saw, and um, I picked it up, I bought it, took it home, and used it and fell in love with it. So, um, as I said in my last video, I looked where where the products were, I found like the Walgreens carried them, and then I went Shea Moisture crazy and just bought everything I could get my hands on. So I have this, and then my parents know me so well that they actually got me another bottle for um, Christmas. So um, I use this pretty much every day. Um, I'm almost out of this. I'm probably about like I got probably about a third of a bottle left, and this will probably be gone within the, the next um, month. Um, so I have a backup. Um, now this is perfect if like when you wake up in the morning and your hair is kind of like dry and messy and frizzy from you know being laying on a pillow which I recommend a satin pillowcase. Um, you, you can spray this into your hair um, instead of using water and it works perfectly because you know uh, it kind of helps dampen and rejuvenate whatever products that you you have in your hair. And if you don't have anything in your hair, then it helps, you know, keep it moisturized and uh, makes that frizz from sleeping, you know, go away. Um, the next product that I got um, was the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Um, now, this is kind of, oh, it smells so good. It smells like a pina colada. Um, this is kind of used for, like, styling. Um, if you Maybe if you want to, like, kind of scrunch your hair a little bit. Um, lay down your edges. Um, you can use it as a leave-in conditioner. This product is so versatile. You, you can do pretty much anything you want with it. I mean, heck, you can probably shampoo with it if you wanted to. <laughs> but, um, so that's the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I know that, um, people either love it 
or they're kind of like, eh. Um, in the beginning, I didn't really like it because I felt like it made my hair uh, too heavy. But I found out that I was just using it wrong and I needed to kind of dampen my hair beforehand and then just add a little bit, not like a big old gob of it. So I ended up really liking this product after figuring out how to use it. And that's the thing about Shea Moisture products. Sometimes you have to figure out how how to use certain products. Maybe, you know, if you did something differently, then it might work for you. Um, so it kind of just depends. Um, the next product that I got is a curling gel souffle. Now this has like the texture of like a um, like a holding gel that you know you'd find like either ethnic aisles or whatever. Um, but yeah, it, this one's actually new because my parents got it for my birthday. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like a jelly consistency. Um, I don't want to open it because I don't want it spilling all over. Um, but this, what you want to do um, at least for me, uh, I just had to kind of wet my hair. I used the, the hold and shine mist. I get my hair nice and damp, and then I only add a very small amount of this. A, a little bit of this goes a long way. Um, because if you use too much of it, it'll just make your hair greasy. Um, so you have to you know, use, use a little at a time and kind of work it up, like build it up to, you know, the, um, you know, amount that works well for you because you don't want to just start off with like a big old amount and then you're gonna have to wash your hair because you know you, you use too much okay then the next thing I got was the frizz free curl mousse um, now I actually use this along the curling gel souffle I'll use the um, the souffle first and then I'll use this to kind of um, help scrunch my hair to get it to the curls that I want and what I really like about this product is that usually when you like put in gels in your hair it makes your hair crunchy and that just bothers me so much because it feels just so fake you know um but using this product it's you get soft curls you don't get any of that crunch you don't get any residue left in your hair which is really really good because I, I can't stand my hair to crunch it, it just it, it makes it feel fake. Um, so I love this product. Um, the next product I'm going to talk to you about is the Curl and Style Milk. Now this is another one of the products I like first um, got. And um, as you can see it's almost gone. Um, this kind of you can use as like a styler. Um, you can put this on your hair after you've gotten out of the shower to kind of create kind of like a leave-in conditioner kind of thing going on. Um, you can pretty much use this for anything that you want. It's kind of like the curl enhancing smoothie. You can use it many different ways. You can use it for twist outs. You can use it for, um, you know, any kind of ethnic hair, anything. So that's what I got that. And the last thing I got for the hair products um, was the coconut hibiscus kids detangler. Now I know this was meant for children, but I they I couldn't find any uh, detanglers in any of the Shea Moisture lines besides the uh, uh, Jamaican black castor oil one. They have a um, detang no, there's a detangler in one of the lines. I think it's raw Shea line, and I just don't like the the raw Shea lines um, kind of smell. So, um, when I saw this, I'm like, yes, I'll try this out, and it works, it works fine, I mean, it does exactly what I want it to do. My hair is very, very curly, I mean, right now it's not super curly because I just combed it out, but I have, like, 3B hair, and, um, so my hair gets really, really tangled, so this works perfectly for me, and it's a kid's extra moisturizing detangler with slippery elm and marshmallow extract. Now this this stuff works really really well. So if you can't find a detangler that you like, then definitely go for this. I know it says kids on it, but that doesn't mean that you can't use it. So that's pretty much it for all the hair products I have there from the coconut and hibiscus line. So now I'm gonna show you what I got for from their body line. This is one that I got called the coconut and hibiscus facial mask. 
with a songy mushroom. Um, now, it's to no fault of Shea Moisture, but I had an allergic reaction to this. My face actually looked like I had gotten seriously sunburned. But that is just me. Now, you know, it it probably wouldn't happen to anybody else because it just ha probably happened that I was allergic to something in the product. Now, I love Shea Moisture's com uh, customer service. Their customer service is amazing. And I talked to them about this, and they're super awesome. I, I absolutely love Shea Moisture, and their customer service is, like, top-notch. Um, so... I would recommend this to anyone, you know, who wants a facial mask. I'm not going to, you know, talk down just because I had an allergic reaction to it. So, you know, do do whatever you want, you know. It, it might work for you. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you is the hand and body scrub. Now, it's kind of like a... looks kind of like wet salt. Kind of. Um... You can, I actually sometimes use this as a facial scrub, um, but only maybe like once every couple weeks because you don't want to scrub off all the, the, you don't want to irritate your, your, your skin on your face. Um, but this is perfect for, uh, if you want to, um, exfoliate your, your body. Um, sometimes you can even add this to baths as kind of like a sea salt kind of thing going on. Um. I don't use this as often as some of my other products, um, but I I love it and it smells really really good. Um, the next product I'm gonna show you is the foaming milk and body wash, uh, the coconut and hibiscus one, and uh, I love this stuff. I sometimes use it as a bubble bath, um, but I just put it on. Um, a natural fiber um, scrub brush and I use that to um, you know scrub my body um, and it has a nice the same nice smell that all the coconut hibiscus products have um, they're, they're they have amazing stuff with the skin um, then they have the coconut hibiscus body massage bath body and massage oil um, I like this stuff um, I usually use this after I get out of the shower. I use it to kind of seal in the moisture from, you know, because uh, if you take a shower and you still have the water droplets on you and you add this oil on top of it, it seals in the moisture. So if you want nice soft skin, take a shower, add this on top of it, and then let it, you know, dry or whatever, and you're good to go. So then the last product I have from this line, yes, finally the last one, um, which I'm almost out of, actually I'm pretty much out of this, the Coconut and Hibiscus Body Butter. Now this is one of the first items I also bought alongside the mist, and this stuff is amazing. When it says body butter, they mean body butter. It literally, when you put it onto your skin, and it when it starts melting, it melts like butter. It doesn't you know, create like a lotion-y kind of texture, it melts right into your skin as if you were using butter on your skin. Um, so I absolutely love that. I use that every day. Um, I either use it in the morning and at night, or I just use it at night before I go to bed. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I got, I, uh, as a review, the shampoo, conditioner, the co-wash, the mist, the souffle smoothie, the mousse, the style milk, the detangler, and then I have the facial mask, the body scrub, the wash, the body wash, the massage oil, and then the body butter. Um, so yeah, if there's any part, like I said before, if there's any products that you'd like me to try, and you'd like a video, or, you know, whatever, just, uh, write me a comment, or whatever, and, um, I will do that for you and make sure you check out Shea Moisture, um, their either their site or their Facebook page. They have an awesome Facebook page. They give you tons of information. So, yeah, just give them, uh, write to them if you, you know, need anything else. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me anytime. 
Uh, so yeah, bye everyone. <laughs>